Hello everyone, this video is aimed at everyone in our school community and the idea behind the video is to give us all a clear insight into the changes that we've put in place to ensure a safe return for all of our pupils later on this week. Everything we've done has been informed by the guidance we've received from the Scottish Government and it's based on the best scientific and public health advice available. The well-being of our pupils and staff is our number one priority and this has been our main consideration in our approach to reopening after the summer. You will notice a number of things that we've put in place to keep you safe. Due to the size and layout of our school, pupils can arrive and depart from their normal point of entry from the main door or from the rear of the building. When you arrive, the first thing you do is sanitise your hands. In accordance with guidelines, all adults will maintain a two metres distance from each other and from pupils wherever possible. Around the school you see lots of arrows like these, They're designed to indicate the flow of movement around the school and you'll notice that as we move from class to class, we keep left. Year groups will all have specific spaces to spend interval and lunch times in. Weather permitting, during breaks and lunch times, pupils will be outside. Lunch times will be held at the normal times of 12.35 to 1.15. S1 pupils are not allowed off the campus at lunchtime, so will either get food from the canteen or bring their own. Year groups will be invited to the canteen separately, where a grab-and-go system will be in place to allow everyone to flow through smoothly. You might be wondering about practical subjects such as PE. They will continue, although they might just be a little different. On days where you have PE on your timetable, you will wear your PE kit to school instead of your usual shirt and tie. In every lesson, pupils will be given the opportunity to ensure their work environment is safe. This will involve the sanitising of work surfaces at the beginning of each lesson. Pupils will be guided to do this responsibly by their teachers. We will support you by providing extra facilities for hand hygiene around the school. You will notice that hand sanitizers have been placed all over the school. There are entry points, they're in the classrooms and they're in the corridors and they're there for you to ensure that you can maintain high levels of hand hygiene. As a community, we recognise that we're all impacted by everyone's actions and that is particularly true right now. The actions of one of us affect us all. You may be wondering about face masks. Inside the building, masks are not mandatory but you are welcome to wear them if you feel more comfortable doing so. If you're travelling by school bus, masks are not required. However, if you travel to school by public transport, they will be. We're also putting in measures to ensure that rooms you are working in have increased natural ventilation. Expect windows to be open. If you do experience symptoms of coronavirus, here's what to do. Stay calm, try not to worry. Anyone with a high temperature, a new continuous cough, a loss of or change in sense of smell or taste, or who has had contact with a family or community member with symptoms should not attend school. If your symptoms develop in school, tell an adult such as your guidance teacher or your head. You will wait in the medical room to be collected by a responsible adult. Everyone has a part to play in ensuring that our school community can flourish. This means taking responsibility for ourselves, looking out for each other and respecting our school environment. We are all really looking forward to seeing you later on this week.